Mobile network technologies has evolved over time to satisfy the increasing customer needs for higher data rates and better services. In brief, the mobile station you are having should be able to make voice calls, in addition to data sessions. The voice calls in the mobile network are using the circuit switching, CS domain, while the data sessions are using the packet switching, PS domain. In order to understand different mobile network technologies, let's take a quick overview on the organization that developed those technologies. 3GPP is the organization that manages and develops mobile network standards. Those standards cover all aspects of mobile networks. In 1997, 3GPP introduced Release 96 of the standards. In this release, the GSM technology existed. GSM had only a CS domain that passed voice calls, while it didn't support data sessions. Therefore, in 1998, 3GPP introduced Release 97 of the standards, in which network architecture enhanced to support data sessions. This is done by introducing GPRS, General Packet Radio Service, which contains a PS domain to pass data sessions. To sum up, the core network describes the combination of the CS domain and the PS domain in mobile network. The mobile station connects to the core network through the access network, which controls the communication between the mobile station and the core network. The access network name in GPRS is GRAN, which refers to GSM, Edge, Radio Access Network. In fact, this whole network that contains the access network and the core network forms the second generation network, or 2G network. In order to afford higher data rates and better utilization for network resources, 3GPP introduced Release 99 of the standards. And this was in year 2000. In this release, the third generation, 3G, network existed. UMTS, Universal Mobile Telecommunication System. In fact this is the term used as an umbrella for the third generation technologies. UMTS is having both a CS domain for voice calls, in addition to a PS domain for data sessions. The core network of UMTS is inherited from GSM GPRS network. Actually, the access network for the 3G network is the UTRAN, which refers to Universal Terrestrial Radio Access Network. In fact, GPRS afforded PS service to mobile networks. Therefore, you may find it mentioned in two different manners. First, GPRS along with UMTS. This means GPRS refers to 2G network, while UMTS refers to 3G network. Second, GPRS alone. In this case, GPRS refers to PS service in both 2G and 3G networks. This is because the core network in UMTS is inherited from GSM GPRS network. After that, 3GPP introduced release 8 in year 2008. In this release, Long Term Evolution, LTE existed. It is the fourth generation, 4G, network. Unlike previous generations, LTE network is having only a PS domain in the core network, while it doesn't have a CS domain for voice calls. The mobile station can make voice calls by connecting to an external network, which is the IMS network. The mobile station connects to the IMS network through the PS domain. In addition, the PS domain architecture enhanced and named the Evolved Packet Core, EPC. The access side of the LTE network is the EUT RAN, which refers to Evolved UT RAN. In later 3GPP standards, release 14 and 15, 3GPP introduced new technologies, like Internet of Things, IoT, and 5th generation, 5G network. Mobile networks evolved over time to afford better services. First, came the 2G network, which is the GSM GPRS architecture, which contains a CS domain for voice calls and a PS domain for data sessions. Then came the third generation network, UMTS. UMTS inherited its core from the GSM GPRS architecture. Therefore, GPRS term can be used to call the PS domain in both 2G and 3G networks. After that, came the 4G network, which is the LTE. The LTE network contains only a PS domain, which is the Evolved Packet Core, EPC.